My name is Sherry Peak. I'm from Armurchie. I've been in Rome my entire life and I work for Ron Stodd Work Solutions. I've been here 19 years. I put people to work for oh. different companies in our local area. What got you into that business? Um, I really enjoy helping people and companies. Uh, it's a challenge to me to, to find the right match for a company. What do you enjoy most about your job? Um, seeing the client and the employee happy. What, what, what's the hardest part about what you do? Sometimes finding the right people for some of the companies. Um, the talent pool sometimes is very restricted. Um, you personally, um, tell me a little bit about you, uh, background. Uh, I know this is October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It means a little bit to you, doesn't it? It does. I am a five-year survivor of breast cancer this year. And um, I have to, to give all the credit to um, Floyd Medical Center, the breast center at Floyd, um, Tina Edwards and Dr. Spencer's office. I had so many wonderful, wonderful people that helped me through the journey. Um, I was diagnosed um, in the uh, late part of 2009 and went through chemo in 2010 and radiation followed that. Um, and now I'm a survivor. What went through your mind when you found out the news? Um, that probably was the most frightening day of my life, to be honest with you. It was um, total fear. Just, um, I cannot explain the moment that I knew. Um, I remember, I recall the day that they told me I was, um, I was there at Floyd Medical at 7.15 that morning for an exam because we found the lump. My doctor, uh, Lewis Spencer sent me to Floyd to the breast center and um, I began with the mammogram and then I guess at that point they saw some suspicious places and they said Sherry we're gonna have to keep you a little longer and we're gonna take you to another room for biopsies so and, and your family how, how supportive were they very supportive I mean they were Absolutely, that evening when we, we kind of found, found out the news, um, my entire family came to my house, and I think my entire living room was full. Uh, we were all in tears when we found out that it definitely was cancer. And then, you, you, cancer is just a horrible, nasty word, and most, most people think, oh my gosh, this is this could be a death sentence for me, but you're still working, you look good. Thank um, you. It, 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 it wasn't for you. How does that make you feel to know you survived cancer and, and you continue to fight? I feel extremely blessed and I owe it to, um, first of all, I owe it to God. And most of all, um, I have to be so thankful for the wonderful doctors and nurses and friends and family and all the people that rallied around to help me survive this and, and through my journey. The, the friends that I have that had breast cancer and went through the journey with me, um, I also had that situation and then again I'm very sad about the losses because I have lost some some other friends that I made during my journey how important or what would you tell other women that the importance of, of, of getting mammograms and just staying checked um, I was one of those people that did have a mammogram every year and uh, unfortunately at the time the facility that I um, had met with and had my mammogram missed the um, tumor. So I went quite a few months um, with pain in my breast and it was determined that it was cancer later on. But usually you don't have cancer, you don't have pain with breast cancer. So it's a silent thing. And I do strongly recommend that everyone go for their mammogram every year and um, if you have anything suspicious you need to have it checked and what do you got to tell the women out there that may receive the, the news one day that they have cancer what kind of message do you have for them put your faith in the lord first of all and be strong don't give up fight it um, put your faith also in your nurses and doctors and there is a world of wonderful wonderful caregivers in this community um, I owe everything to so many people at Floyd Medical, Floyd Breast Center, Harbin Clinic. Um, I just can't say enough about how good how how good the care was and how well they treated you and 
you were as important to them as every person in there. It didn't didn't matter um, how serious your cancer or or to them everything was serious. Let me put it that way. So um, I would say to everyone, please reach out to your doctors, get the care that you need, and be sure to do your mammograms.